the Auburn attack trying to break down Shelly Smith's Gamecock defense, which has been one of the best in the SEC the last few years, one of the best in the nation right now. Turnover, middle of the field as the Gamecocks take it away and try to take over, going the other direction. Now another turnover, here comes Auburn. One on one in the box, the shot! And the save by D'Angelo. That was Casey Ramsier with the early opportunity for the Tigers. Raina Johnson coming back to help out her defense and now hopefully get something going for McCaskill. Showing some speed. Great run by the freshman. McCaskill in the box. She gets taken down and we are going to have a penalty. Well, Kayla Faulkner for Auburn number four. Can't believe the referee called that. Sophie Groff, the sophomore forward, leading scorer for the South Carolina team. Ready to take it. Groff shot to the corner and good. South Carolina takes a late lead off the penalty kick. Dodson, nice turn. Dodson in the box, passes. And it's a goal! Auburn has found the equalizer off the foot of Brooke Ramsier. And we are tied one to one at the end of regulation. My goodness, what a finish we had to the regulation here in Auburn. Give you a little refresher on the overtime rules during the regular season in collegiate soccer. It is golden goal, which means whoever scores first wins it. Another high corner kick coming in. It's in the box. Grop has it again. Right footed shot this time. Far post cleared out. Another shot by Parker. It's a goal. Stevie Parker with the game winner with just 40 seconds remaining in the first overtime. But the golden goal says she wins it for the Gamecocks. We told you she was the key to this team and she's proving that today. Groff with the far post, keeping the service alive. And again, this we call framing the goal. It gets, oh, excuse me, it just bounces off the deflection. She clears it, but straight to Parker, who one times it, reads the pressure, knows she can't take a touch. Nice way to score her first goal of the year. Scrappy little player for the Gamecocks has the game winner in the 100th minute to give South Carolina its first SEC win.